Special thanks to Patreon supporter Derek Frost Rusberg for making this video possible. Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Gear2Buff4 here bringing you another Minecraft Modern Warfare vehicle tutorial. In this tutorial we'll go ahead and build the BTR-82A. The BTR-82A is a development of the BTR-80, being the latest production version with improved armor, spall liners, more modern night vision devices, uh, the 2A772 uh, 30mm gun, the Lonas navigation system and a more powerful engine of 300 horsepower. The prototype of the BTR-82A was shown for the first time in November 2009. The Ministry of Defense of Russia has formally adopted the armored personnel carrier BTR-82A. The corresponding order was designed was signed by Defense Minister uh, Sergei Shogu in early 2013. In a Syrian government TV channel report, the BTR-82A is seen in battle in Syria around September 2015. The video shows the BTR-82A 82A crew members speak in Russian. It is widely believed that Russian armored vehicle units have been directly fighting anti air government groups in Syria. Russia integrated the AU 220M Balakin remote turret to the BTR 82A, fitted with an auto cannon firing the 57 times 358 SR at millimeter shells at 120 rounds per minute. The type test of the updated BTR 82A armor piercing. Armor personnel carrier have successfully been completed as of April 2019. Since 2019, all vehicles of the type will receive additional protection and a new fire control system with a thermal imager. So yeah, the uh, BTR uh, 82A, very interesting uh, vehicle here, just kind of a upgrade overall to the BTR 80 design to kind of keep it more modernized and uh, more capable in an ever-changing modern um, combat type environment. Um, yeah, before we go and take a look at the vehicle, I want to go and give special links to Patreon supporter Derek Frost Westbrook for making this tutorial possible. If you guys are interested in supporting the channel more than you already do, feel free to check out my Patreon page. Link is always in my video description. It's where you can go and put a small amount to the channel every month and in doing so earn a vehicle request of your choosing. It really helps support the work I do on my channel and it's very greatly appreciated, so definitely feel free to check it out if you are interested. Anyways, let's go and dive in here to take a look here at the BTR-82A. So, if you built my BTR-80, the recent one, uh, you'll see pretty much very close similarities to it. Um, there are some design changes and stuff like that, mainly do with the back of the vehicle. Has some changes, and um, just like the top and stuff like that. So, there's some various little details there around the back. Uh, but for the most part, it's pretty much your standard BTR. And obviously, the main difference here is going to be this addition of the 30mm cannon mounted up on top of the vehicle. So, uh, pretty nice vehicle. Will be a nice uh, modern APC to throw into any of your modern Russian conflicts and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, it should be a nice pretty APC to add to your worlds. Anyways, let's go ahead and move into the tutorial by beginning with our first layer. Alright guys, so let's go ahead and move into our first layer. For our first layer here, we'll be going ahead and starting off by going into your polished black stone stairs. We're going to place down two polished black stone upside down stairs like this back to back. Like that for the start of our left front wheel. We're going to then place down a stone brick top slab like this, followed by an iron trap door and an air stone brick top slab like so, and then a narrow polished black stone upside down stair and an upside down stair coming off like that to go and create the bottom half of that wheel. We're going to go and then skip a space back, place down a stone brick top slab here, a iron trap door and a narrow stone brick top slab like that, and again a polished black stone upside down stair and a second stair that goes off of that one like this toward the rear. So just like that there to go ahead and make our front two axles. Once we get to uh, this point, we're going to go ahead and then place down a uh, never polished blackstone ups down stair set of two on both sides here basically one block of space from our second axle there We're going to go then place down a stone brick top slab here iron trap door and stone brick top slab over and The same thing we did for the front here is just going to be translated here to the back so Two polished blackstone ups down stairs like that and another ups down stair here Stone brick top slab here iron trap door stone brick top slab just like that to go in and basically create the uh, axles there Take a look at it from above, this is what we should have from the top down view for this uh, vehicle so far. Pretty straightforward stuff for layer 1. Uh, but with that out of the way, let's go ahead and move on to our next layer, layer number 2. Alright guys, moving into our next layer, we have layer 2. For layer 2 to get started with here, we're going to go and place down two polished black stone stairs back to back on top of each one of these uh, polished black stone stairs. So just like this, and it's going to basically create um, all eight of our wheels. So just like this, all the way around for all eight wheels. After that's all done, we're going to go ahead and then take a stone brick wall. We're going to place it down on top of these stone brick top stumps for again each one of our uh, axles there. And we can go ahead and then grab ourselves an anvil. And we're going to use the anvil here on top of this iron trap door for each one of our axles like that. Once that's done, we're going to take our green terracotta. We're going to place down a row of four across. 
Then a row, or sorry, row three across between those stairs here in the front, and then a row three of dark oak went up downstairs with a zombie head on both ends. We then also want to place an item frame on those stairs with a tripwire hook, and the item frame rotates so they're facing downwards. After that, we're going to then place down a row of three of green terracotta across here, followed by a dark oak wood fence gate to both sides, which are going to be open toward the outside, so not toward our green terracotta, but out to the outsides like so. Coming off that fence gate, we're also going to go ahead and place down a dark oak wood sign, like this, to both sides. For this section right here, we're going to place down three rows of three of green terracotta, so it's again just filling in the space here across. We're going to go then place down a dark oak wood fence gate, like this, to both sides, in between those stairs. Continuing on, we're going to place down another row of three of green terracotta across this section here. Dark oak wood fence gate, open it to the side. A narrow dark oak wood fence gate, open up to the side like so. And a dark oak wood sign on the side here of the fence gate. Same thing over here. We then want to take our green terracotta and place down a row of three of green terracotta across, followed by a second row of three. And then a dark oak wood up down stair to both ends of that row of three of green terracotta. And then a row of five of dark oak wood up down stairs all the way across the back here, which should turn the corner stairs there into corner stairs. Then the middle, uh, or the dark oak wood stairs on both sides of the middle, we're going to place down item frames and then trip our hooks in those item frames which are going to rotate so that they face downwards, just like that. With that all out of the way, that right there should do it for our basic structure here for this layer, taking a look at from above this is what it should look like. We're going to go ahead and move into making those banners there, which will be used on the wheels to kind of give a little bit more detail to them. So I'm going to go ahead and grab the necessary materials and I'll see you guys here back shortly to go ahead and make those wheels. Alright guys, so to go ahead and make those banners, it's pretty simple and straightforward. We're just going to need a loom, two black banners, two green dye, and four black dye. We're going to go ahead and go into our loom of our black banners. We're going to place down our black banners, our loom, and our green dye. For our first banner here, we're going to go ahead and do the line on the left side. So just like this of green, so it's just going to be that strip there. And then the other uh, green dye in the other banner, we're going to go and dye with the green on the right side. So you get these two banners like so with those vertical green lines. Each one of these banners is going to be put back into the loom and our black dye. We're just going to select the line that goes horizontally across the top and the line that goes horizontally across the bottom for our black dye. And this is just going to be done for each one of our banners, like so. And once we have that complete here, very simply, we're just going to go ahead and take our banners and place them down here on the sides of these polished black stone stairs with the green portion facing toward each other. Uh, pretty straightforward thing there for the banners, but I think it just adds a nice uh, design there for the wheels. Just gives it a little bit more of a sprucing up look and makes them look a little bit more detailed and like wheels. So um, that right there will just be done to all eight wheels. And with that all complete, that right there will wrap up layer two. Let's move on to layer three. All right, guys, moving into our next layer, we'll be moving into layer number three. For layer three to get started with, we're going to place down a row of three green terracotta across, followed by a dark oak wood up, or dark, just a normal dark oak wood stair to both sides. And then a row of three of dark oak wood up downstairs across the front here. And a zombie head to both ends, just like that. We then want to place down an item frame on those two stairs, and then we're going to place down a green bed in those item frames and rotate them so they're facing toward the outsides there with the pillows, and then just a dark oak wood sign over those item frames. Now you can place a dark oak wood sign if you're on Java Edition, if you're on Bedrock or Pocket Edition, you're not able to do this feature. If that's the case, then go ahead and just disregard the signs and just place down the banners with the green, or sorry, the item frames with the green beds. At this point here, we're going to go ahead and then take our green terracotta and place down a row of three across the center here, followed by a dark oak wood up down stair to both sides again, and then a dark uh, oak wood sign there on the side of that stair. We then want to place down a dark oak wood top slam on both sides here, and then again row three green terracotta across the center there, and on both sides of the top slab we are going to be placing down a um, dark oak wood sign. And actually right here, uh, we're going to place down a stone brick wall on both sides there, so just stone brick walls on top of the ones like that. And we'll just go ahead and do this for each one of our axles here, going away across here, just for the suspension here for the vehicle. So like that. Anyways, continuing on, we're going to then place down a row of three of green terracotta across the center point here, and then a dark oak wood up down stair to both sides. We then want to place down a dark oak wood top slam on both sides. And then we want to go and then place down a uh, row of three of green terracotta with a dark oak wood top slab again on both sides. And we're going to then place down another row of three green terracotta, this time with a dark oak wood up down stair. And then another row of three green terracotta with a dark oak wood top slab on both sides, and then one more top slab that goes back. A row of three green terracotta cr across this section here, and a dark oak wood up down stair on both sides. We then want to place down a dark oak wood top slab on both sides here. And we're going to then place down a row of three of green terracotta across the center here, and a dark oak wood top slab to both ends, and on the side of the top side, we are going to place down a dark oak wood sign, like so. After that, we're going to place down a row of five of green terracotta across, 
and a dark oak sign here on the sides here of those blocks. And then on the back here, uh, very simply, we just want to go ahead and place down a green shulker box in the center like so. Two green terracotta blocks out to both sides. We're going to go ahead and grab some spruce wood trapdoors, place them down on the sides of those blocks there, and then a dark oak button there in the very center. Um, after that's all done though, the last thing for us to do here is a little detail bit, which is going to be going ahead and grabbing an item frame and some tripwire hooks. We're going to place down an item frame here on the stair and a tripwire hook in the item frame that's rotated downwards, and that's going to be on the center stair, or basically the center point of our vehicle, so that stair right there. And that'll be done on both sides, uh, like so. Anyways, that right there is it for layer number three, and with that, let's go ahead and move into layer number four. Alright guys, moving into our next layer, we're moving into layer number four. For layer four to go ahead and get started with here, we're going to place down two, sorry, three green carpets across, three dark oakwood trap doors across, and then two spruce wood stairs across, like so. We then want to place down a dark oakwood fence gate on both sides here, opened up toward the front, and we're going to then place down item frames here in those fence gates, and then snowballs in those item frames, like so. We then want to go ahead and place down a iron bar on top of these two stairs here, and we're going to then place down a zombie head um, on top of those iron bars here, um, just like that, at a slight angle to both sides to face toward the middle. Now after we get to this point, we're going to then place down a row of three of green terracotta across, followed by a dark oakwood stair, which will be on both sides. And then come off the dark oakwood stair and place down an item frame. And in the item frame, we're going to place down a black bed, rotate on side, and a dark oakwood sign over the uh, item frame if you're able to do that and if you're on Java. And same thing will be done over here as well. Make sure the pillow of the bed is facing toward the back. So same thing there on both sides. We're going to go then place down a green terracotta block here in the center, and we're going to go then place down a black concrete block to both sides, and then a dark oakwood um, stair, which will be just like this on both sides, and then we're going to go ahead and place down a second stair back from it, so it turns into a corner stair like so, and same thing over here. And then we're just going to take green terracotta and place down a row of three across this section here. After that, we're going to then place down a another black concrete block on both sides here, green terracotta block in the center, and then a dark oakwood stair again like this to both sides. Coming off that dark oakwood stair, we're going to place down a spruce wood stair, and that stair should turn it into a corner stair, just like so. Once uh, we have that done, we're going to take our green terracotta and just place down a row of three between our spruce wood stairs. We're going to place down two more rows of three going back down the center, two dark oakwood stairs to both sides, and then at this point here, we're going to then place down a mossy cobblestone wall in the center, green terracotta block to both sides, and a mossy cobblestone wall out to the sides. We're going to then place down another mossy cobblestone wall in the center, and then two green terracotta blocks out to the sides, and then a dark oakwood sign on the side of this green terracotta block, like so. We're going to go then place down a um, dried kelp block in the center here, followed by one out to both sides, and then a green terracotta block. And on the sides here of this green terracotta block, we're going to place down a ladder to both sides. We're going to place down another row of three of dried kelp across, then a mossy cobblestone wall again to both sides here. And then on the back here, row three of dark oakwood stairs, followed by a zombie head coming off these mossy cobblestone walls. And then taking item frames, we're going to place down item frames on those stairs like that to the sides on the back here. Red stained glass um, blocks in those item frames, and then dark oakwood signs um, on the face here of the stairs, just like that to go and create our taillights there for the uh, vehicle. And just like that, that right there is going to wrap up what we have there for layer four. And with that, we're going to be moving into our final layers, which will probably be layers 6 through 9, it appears. So, um, or actually, sorry, it should be 5 through, probably 5 through 8, actually. So, my bad. Uh, but yeah, with that, let's go ahead and move into our final layers, 5 through 8. All right, guys, moving into our final layers, we have layers 5 through 8. For these layers to go ahead and get started with, we're going to place down a dark oak fence gate on top of this green terracotta block and open it toward the front. Coming off that um, fence gate, we're going to place down an item frame. And in that item frame, we're going to place down a snowball like so. We then want to place down a row of three of green carpet across the front stairs, like so. And after that, we're going to then place down a zombie head here on this green terracotta block, and then a flower pot right next to it, like so, followed by another flower pot like that on top of that stair. We then want to go ahead and grab our spruce wood trap doors. We're going to place down a spruce wood trap door like this to both sides, and make sure they're both facing the same direction, like so. We're going to go then place down a dark oak stair in the center, dark oak wood corner stair to both sides, like that. And then a row of three of green terracotta across, like so. We then want to go ahead and place down a dark oak button on the sides here of this green row of three of green terracotta. And then in the middle here, a dark oak stair, and then a mossy cobblestone wall to both sides of that stair, like so. Continuing our way up the turret, we're going to go ahead and place down a dark oak stair this time on the mossy cobblestone walls. 
Let down on both sides of the backs facing toward the middle. We're going to then place down an anvil in the center like so. Coming off the anvil, we're going to go ahead and grab end rods and we're going to place down a row of one, two, three, four, and five. And six end rods going forward just like that. After that, we want to go and then place down a uh, dragon head on top of these green terracotta blocks here to both sides. So like that. And also in the back here of the anvil, we're going to place down a wither skeleton skull like so. On the top here of this, we're going to go ahead and place down another spotlight, which is going to be a dark oak fence gate on top of this anvil. Open it toward the front item frame and then a snowball in the item frame like that. Followed by a zombie head on this dark oak stair to the left side. And coming off that zombie head, we're going to place down a chain here for basically the coaxial machine gun mounted also onto this um, turret. With that done, we're going to then place down a row of two of daylight detectors down the center here. Followed by a dark oak trap door to both sides like that. We're going to also grab an end rod. We're going to place down an end rod here on top of this dark oak stair. And going up from the end rod for the radio antenna, we're just going to place down one two, and three iron bars. Continuing on the back here, we're going to place down a row of two of dark oak buttons on these green terracotta blocks. And we then want to go ahead and place down a rail, which will go on top of these um, green terracotta blocks here. And we're just going to go ahead and adjust these so that they face this way like so, so they kind of follow the same path of the ladder like that. After that's done, we just want to go ahead and lastly place down two dark oak wood trapdoors on top of those two dried kelp blocks to the left side here and then dark oak signs there on the sides of the slabs just like that and once we have that all complete there that's going to pretty much wrap up my design here for the btr 82a hope you guys do enjoy this design and are able to put it to good use if you do want to use this build i do ask that you guys give me proper credit for it this will be the link from the sun of the build to my channel or this video if this does a pretty useful media sites as long as you guys give me proper credit for it you're free to use whatever projects you guys are working on overall enjoy the build have fun with it and all that fun stuff with that though, thank you guys again so much for watching. A big special thanks again to Patreon supporter Derek Frost Westbrook for making this tutorial possible. And as always, feel free to check my Patreon page. Link is always in my video descriptions. With that though, thank you guys again so much for watching. As always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. This week we're 204, and I'll see you guys next time.